Okay, here's my um, Yesu FT101B. Um, I'm having problems with it. I got this before I uh, had my license, so I wasn't able to test it when I got it, which I bought it off eBay, so there you go, you're gambling. And I gambled. And uh, I, I can receive with it. Receive fine. I've listened to a lot of conversations. Um, took it to a friend of mine whose dad is a ham uh, operator, and uh, he, you know, tried to. He, just, he wanted to play with it, and um, it would put out on AM, but not on uh, single sideband. And that was several months ago, and I was like, well, it's, maybe it's a bad connection. So I like unhook cards and check connections and make sure all my contacts were clean and stuff like that and um, so I finally got my license and I finally uh, put together a, a dummy load I uh, did the uh, cantina top you know the uh, paint can with the resistors and filled with oil on doubt it I won't say on doubt it 52 ohms but uh, anyway um, so I can tune it now at least, you know, uh, without having to worry about going over there. Anyway, so, what it would, I downloaded a manual, it's like a good manual, this thing is, and I put it in a notebook, at like 200 pages, and I've been researching and reading and reading and reading, and uh, even in tune, I got no output. Um, let me take that back. Yeah, even in tune, I wasn't getting any output. And uh, so I, everything I was reading, this little board right here, it was telling me, uh, I think it was this one. This, this capacitor right here was probably bad, C17. I think it was that one. It was that one. Anyway, I replaced all three of them, and that actually fixed. I thought I was oh, I, I thought I was doing good because then in the tune, boom! I go over here and tune it. I'm putting out 100 watts. So, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm I'm hoping some of you uh, ham ham guys uh, can point me in the right path. Uh, anyway. I put out 100 watts. I, I could put, make it put out over 100 watts, but I'd been doing my reading. I'm trying to keep my meter um, below one, uh, 1200 there, or 0 0.12, excuse me. Um, from what I've been reading, they're saying that's kind of max there, and that's put me right at 100 watts. So I, I'm happy with that. That'd be great. Uh, but what it does. As I put out uh, as many watts as I want, you know, about 100 watts on uh, tune, as I'll show you right here. Let's uh, see where we at. Uh, crank it up a little bit. And I have uh, gone through, I've, I've tuned it. I went through the tune procedures. I, I, I was, There we go, 100 watts. And let it cool a second. Right at 12, right at 0.12. Let me take it down just a little bit. All right, there we go. So that's right at 100, and I'm at 0.12. But, as soon as I go to single side band that's what I get a couple of watts and something I just noticed just a while ago as I was aggravated because what I did I'll go ahead and show you probably wondering how I'm doing that with this because I bought another board I replaced these capacitors and I bought them from Amazon the right spec so I had to buy like a pack of 25 so I ever capacitor that was that 
size, that, that rating, you know, that, that, that capacitor, I replaced in this board. Replaced all of them. Uh, I replaced what resistors I could buy local at Radio Shack that were, that could be the problem. Because everything I'd read is in tune, this circuit is pretty much took out. So, when you turn it to your single sideband or AM, then you use this card. Well, the AM part is working, just not my single sideband. There's a couple of transistors. I tried to replace this one, and I thought maybe I messed something up or did something wrong, and um, or got it too hot, whatever, and I was like, well, screw it. I found on eBay a guy had cards, he guaranteed them. Um, and it was like $39. I said, well, I'll just buy another board and play with this and maybe I'll fin eventually fix it. Put the board in just a few minutes ago, the same exact thing. So my problem is somewhere else. Uh, will, um, but another thing that I did notice is when I'm in tune and I adjust my mic gain, it affects my meter, you know. So let me put it back in tune. Put it in. Let me crank that down. Put it in mox. And as I move my mic carrier up, see, I get needle movement. I, I can adjust it. Turn it off. Okay. But when I go to single sideband, no matter where I move my mic carrier, this needle does not move. It just stays dead steady. Um, let's see, where's that now? See right there, it's on like 0 0.8. And when I go to single sideband, that's where it'll stay no matter where. I just cranked it wide open. Nothing happened. I gotta do some more research, I know, and, and uh, maybe I bit off more than I chew. But I do have a mechanical and electrical background. I work in uh, manufacturing, and I'm a maintenance tech, so I work with computers and PLCs and stuff. That being said, that don't mean I know how to repair cards. You know, I do trace electronic problems and stuff, but card repair is, you know, is a little different, plus, this is a radio. I work on machines. Uh, even though this is a machine, I feel confident, but at the same time, it's all new to me, you know. Uh, but I at least need a just kind of calling out if anybody knows they can kind of shoot me a little uh, comment there if um, a path to start looking next. Like I say, it works great in tune. I have AM. I have AM output, no problem. Single sideband is my problem. If it was just one of them, I might think it was a crystal or something in the circuit, but like I said, I've actually replaced the AELC board now. Same exact thing. No different. Uh, so, I won't say I'm desperate, I just. I'm going to dig and I'm going to either figure it out or buy another radio eventually. <laughs> but uh, I'd love to get this thing going. I, I like this radio, just what I've been playing around with and learning about it and reading about it. It's a great rig and I really want to get it going. Um, so, anyway. Just if anybody can uh, offer some suggestions, I would appreciate it. I hope I included everything I needed to. Um, I know there was a lot of talk about the twos being bad. If somebody was using it as a CB unit and all that. From everything I read and from looking in it, everything I can tell, this one was not done that way. It don't look like it had that. And I feel that my two, my finals must be put doing good. I got great AM output. And I know not to push it past 25 watts on my 
output on AM, so I do know that. But like I said, when I go to single sideband, tune, I'm putting out 100 watts. If I'm putting out 100 watts on tune, unless I'm missing something, that's telling me my finals are good, my tubes are good. I'm, something else is going on in here. Uh, and I'm just, I'm learning. That's what I'm trying to do. So, anyway, if anybody can offer any help, I would appreciate it. Thank you very much.